BlockFi. Big, big news out of BlockFi, big update. Let's get right into it. I'm not going to say it's dead, but more like it's in a coma right now. It is in a vegetative state. So I had originally planned to do a different update on uh, on BlockFi, what's been going on, sort of the mid-month update based on the uh, changes that had been announced at the end of uh, January of 2022. The fact that they were dropping their uh, interest rate for stable coins from 9% down to 8.75%, changing the amounts for the various tiers, and um, the BlockFi interest account versus the BlockFi wallet, and how things would, would be handled with respect to your interest payments, or any bonuses, or what would happen with the rewards from your BlockFi credit card if you have one. And then things happen today. Some big news coming out of BlockFi. It's on uh, CNBC and MSN, MSNBC, um, all all of the channels, Yahoo Finance. They're they're all covering this. So um, I guess I'll start with the the changes that I was going to talk about before as well as today's developments and whether or not I think people should even get involved with BlockFi at this point, whether I'm going to jump ship like a lot of people have been doing as of late, or uh, you know, what am I going to do going forward? Uh, what are my plans with the, the BlockFi credit card? Because I have one. I, I rather enjoy it. I'm not exactly happy with the interest rate they gave me on that thing, but I still think it's kind of um, uh, amazing that there are people out there that are multi-millionaires that have the BlockFi credit card that have uh, literally half or less than uh, the credit limit they gave me, and, <laughs> and you know that that blows my mind. I'm not I'm not a multi-millionaire, but these people are, and they don't have the same credit limit that I do. And but at the same time, you know being hit with a 20% interest rate on a credit card when I have, I have excellent credit. I have, you know, all of my other cards, interest rates are anywhere from 4% to 14% on the high end. And, you know, I cringe even thinking about those 14 percenters, which is, which is why with the, um, with the BlockFi card, I had always intended to just pay that thing off uh, and not carry a balance on it because, you know, 20% is, is ridiculous. But it just sort of makes me think about BlockFi and how they've been operating. The great thing about crypto and decentralized finance and everything that you're able to do is it allows you to have opportunities and opportunities, opportunities and options that are not just present in conventional banking. And unfortunately, BlockFi in a lot of ways has been operating like a traditional bank, but with cryptocurrency instead of fiat currency. So a lot of the things that banks do that are just irritating to us as consumers, but but banks are doing to maximize their bottom line, um, you know, in the traditional brick and mortar world, if you will, BlockFi has, has been doing those things. For instance, charging fees, charging a premium for things, and charging people inflated prices. These are things designed to help the bottom line of, of the bank. Um, crazy interest rates, like on the credit card. So if people are carrying a balance and they've got this, you know, <laughs> 10, 14, 15, 18, 20, 22% interest rate, and they're, you know, they're carrying a balance, well, you know, people ask the question, well, how can BlockFi afford to pay all of this interest on the crypto they support? So, well, there you go. And then another thing, holding on to crypto or, or, or having bankers hours. <laughs> You know, I, I can't imagine dealing with uh, Crypto.com or Coinbase or any of these um, more robust, well-established, uh, you know, Binance or, uh, currency, cryptocurrency exchanges and services or, or their DeFi wallets and thinking, oh, it's Saturday. I can't withdraw my money today. I can't transfer. It's going to take three business days, maybe five if there's a holiday involved. And yet, that's what you see with BlockFi, you know, you, and so anyway, um, at the end of the, at the end of last month, beginning of this month, beginning of February 2022, they implemented the BlockFi wallet in addition to the BlockFi interest account, the BIA. And so, 
it, 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 it just added another step to the mix. So if you wanted to earn, get some crypto and earn interest on it using BlockFi, you would have to, <laughs> you would have to buy it or send it to your BlockFi wallet and then go into your BlockFi you know, account through the website or through their app and then transfer the currency, the cryptocurrency from the BlockFi wallet over to the BlockFi interest account and then let it sit there and start accumulating interest that unlike most places that you know provide interest or yield on, on your crypto that pay weekly, uh, BlockFi does it monthly. You know, it accrues daily, you know, and every day you can see that the number has gone up somewhat, but it hasn't compounded, it hasn't gone back. And so my big question at the time was, well, what's going to happen now when that interest compounds, when it pays when it pays out that yield? Is it going to go into your BlockFi wallet and then you'll have to move it over? And, or is it going to immediately you know, just show back up in your BlockFi interest account and have seamless compounding? Um, the answer to that at the beginning of this month was, well, it'll go back in automatically and you'll have the seamless compounding, but any other inputs of uh, assets or funding into your um, BlockFi account, by default, I've discovered, goes into the BlockFi wallet. And you know, what are these other sources? Well, if you use a BlockFi to purchase cryptocurrency, which outside of stable coins, I don't recommend that you do because you know, uh, it'd be pretty obvious if they were price gouging you, if you go to buy a stable coin and they're charging you more than $1 for a coin, you're gonna notice. Uh, whereas if you go to buy Bitcoin and you're not looking at what coin market cap says or what uh, Coinbase says or some other exchange, you're not going to know that they're charging you around six to nine hundred dollars more per Bitcoin for you know than whatever the market price is. So you know if they're you know they're they're taking your money. And they're going to get, they're going to go get Bitcoin at the market price, but they're not going to give all of that to you. They're going to hold some of it back. And again, you know, these are ways that the companies are, you know, holding on to your money to make them money. You know, just like what I was saying with if it if you go to withdraw some of your currency. So say say you have some Ethereum, and you don't want it in BlockFi anymore because you found someplace else like Vault or Celsius that you can get higher um, higher yield on. Or say if you're over at crypto.com and you've got one of the higher level um, uh, Visa cards, their debit cards, you know, you're, you're going to be able to get a potentially higher um, APY, APR, whatever, higher, higher percentage rate. What you would need to do is, you know, this is assuming you have some amount of Ethereum in your BlockFi interest account. You're going to have to go in again via the website or the app on your on your mobile device, your phone, your tablet, whatever, and you're going to say, "All right, this much Ethereum, I want to transfer from my BlockFi interest account over to my BlockFi wallet, and then from there, you'll have to send it over to your you know your wallet address, your account at one of these other platforms, where it will you know depending on where you're sending it, you know uh, Celsius, Vault, it'll immediately begin earning earning interest." If you send it to site crypto.com, well, then, you know, you're, you're going to have to wait and, you know, do some other things with it. But um, so that's what you do. But after you get to the point of going, OK, it's in the wallet. I want it to go over here to this other platform or wherever else. It's going to tell you, well, it's going to take at least two business days to do this. In reality, it might be three to five if there's a holiday involved or a weekend you know, add another two to three days to that. And so during that time, your, your Ethereum that had been earning interest is not doing that. It's not earning interest. BlockFi still has it. They're, they're making it work. They're, they're using it to generate revenue for them. And um, on top of that, BlockFi only does one free withdrawal or, or transfer externally per month. And so if you've exceeded that, no, you're you're looking at basically paying fifty dollars a pop to transfer your assets somewhere. At least that's what it is with, with the uh, the Bitcoin, and it's you know similar rates depending on what you're transferring, um, in excess of that one free transfer. Okay. Now, what what are some of the other inputs that you can get? Well, bonuses. Say you referred somebody or you signed up using someone's referral code. When you meet the requirements to get that bonus paid out to you. 
it is now going into your BlockFi wallet, not your BlockFi interest account. Um, if you have the if you have the BlockFi credit card, you get a trading rebate, uh, 0.25%, I believe it is. Now, it, it adds up. It's better than nothing. So those payments, when they pay those out, also go into your BlockFi wallet. What else? Oh, the actual rewards, the cash back rewards you get for using the card itself. 1.5% uh, to 2.2%. Uh, 3.5% during your initial period, first three months. Uh, otherwise, the baseline is 1.5 and bumps up to two after first $50,000 from spending. So whatever amount that comes up to and whatever cryptocurrency you've chosen, um, you know, most people are going to do, you know, Bitcoin because that's what it's defaulted to. Uh, I changed mine to, to a stable coin because, you know, I would rather earn the much higher uh, yield interest rate for the for the stable coin and then have the stable coin interest paid out into Bitcoin and just kind of fill one up and have the overflow just go over there and just you know create that critical mass so whatever currency is that you've chosen to be paid in for your credit card rewards that also goes in to your BlockFi wallet here's the thing the credit card rewards are the only ones where you will receive any kind of notification that this has happened. And that notification is in an email. It's, it's you know, you don't get a text message. You don't get some sort of push notification on, on your device. You get an email. So if you didn't check your email and you didn't know it happened, I mean, generally these things happen on the second Friday of every month, but not all of us are going to pay attention. Not all of us know that. Not all of us are going to keep track of that. And these other... Um, rewards, if you will, um, they can be paid out at different times, but you're not notified when those happen. What I'm getting at here is they could be paid to you and then sit in your BlockFi wallet for who knows how long before you notice them and then move them from the BlockFi wallet over to the BlockFi interest account. Um, again, you know, time is money. It's sitting over here, not earning interest when it could be over here, earning interest for you, generating that passive income. So, so that, that's an issue with me. Now, today, here's the big news. Uh, basically, BlockFi interest accounts are, they're, they're frozen. They are not offering any new ones to U.S. persons or U.S. residents or customers in the U.S. You, you can't get one. If you go to BlockFi right now as a new user and sign up for an account, you will have the option to use the BlockFi wallet or you know, sign up to get the credit card after you get your BlockFi account. That's it. Now, if you are old school, grandfathered in, if you will, and you have a BlockFi interest account, um, your, your funds are basically frozen there. You cannot add more funding into your BlockFi interest account at this time. As of today, February, uh, February 14, 2022, happy Valentine's Day, uh, BlockFi folk. If you, you know, if you have $10,000 sitting in your BlockFi wallet that you were planning to move over today, you can't do it. You'd have, it's just going to sit there. And, you know, why would you do that? <laughs> so, it's like I said, it's on all the news. I've got the, uh, the iPad here. We're going to look at some of the stories real quick. Uh, first thing, the BlockFi webpage, completely redesigned. It, it no longer even mentions um, in a prominent way, you know, interest-bearing accounts, BlockFi interest accounts. It seems to be very much focused around the BlockFi credit card. Buy, sell, and earn crypto. The BlockFi rewards credit card lets you earn up to 3.5% back in crypto on every purchase. And then, of course, the asterisk by the 35 to let you know that's the introductory rate, spends first 90 days card ownership, blah, blah, blah. Uh, introductory officers capped at $100 in Bitcoin or equivalent. So, I mean, you just scroll and you scroll and you scroll and it's just all about uh, low cost trading for leading cryptos. No, it's, it's again, it's not because, you know, they're, 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 <laughs> they're buying the crypto. The, the pricing is at a premium. Even on Ethereum, you're looking at you know two, three hundred dollars more than than what what the the wider market has. 
Uh, I already mentioned how incredibly crazy the prices for um, Bitcoin are. So, you know, I had already decided that if I was going to buy Bitcoin, I was going to put it on um, like, you know, just get it from somewhere else. You know, basically my plan was to um, get Bitcoin periodically, um, auto purchases, dollar cost average into it over on Coinbase, let it stack up for a little bit, then transfer it over to one of these other platforms that earn interest and well, not BlockFi anymore. So they also have some stuff here about, you know, their, their um, loans. You know, you can use your crypto as collateral to get a low interest loan, 4.5%. Yeah, that's pretty good, but not when you go to Celsius and get a 1% loan. Anyway, uh, company news right here. Um, BlockFi announced intention to file or confidentially submit draft registration statement on form S1 with the SEC relating to the offering of BlockFi Yield, a new crypto interest bearing security that would be available to U.S. clients. So BlockFi Yield, whatever this is, is going to be the replacement for BlockFi interest accounts. They're saying that if you have a BlockFi interest account, you will be migrated automatically to BlockFi Yield unless you tell them otherwise. But we don't know what BlockFi Yield means. It says it's going to be an interest-bearing security. Well, uh, cryptocurrencies aren't securities. So is this going to be like a crypto IRA situation where it's some type of security that is backed by or has exposure to cryptocurrencies? Who knows? No one knows at this point. They're not telling us. It's very nebulous. It's hard to see. And then if you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the web page, as of February 14, 2022, the BlockFi interest account, BIA, is no longer available to new clients who are U.S. persons or persons located in the U.S. and existing U.S. clients with BlockFi interest account, BIA accounts, are unable to transfer new assets to their BIAs. So to learn more, they've got their update here on regulatory developments. Um, like I said before, you know, they will periodically send you some emails to notify you of things. And they sent me one saying, important update to your BlockFi interest account. Today, uh, Jack and Flory, the founders of the company, shared a regulatory update. As a result of this much-needed regulatory clarity, we want to alert you to updates in your BlockFi account while we go through the securities registration process for BlockFi Yield, our new crypto interest-bearing security. Uh, what will happen with my BlockFi interest account? Well, you will still have it. Uh, you will be able to continue to earn interest, which will be deposited monthly in your BlockFi interest account. Can I add funds to my BA? No. Right there. No. <laughs> the only funds that are going to be added to it are the interest that goes in automatically. BIA clients in the United States may not add further assets into their BIAs. You'll still be able to add additional funds in your BlockFi wallet, which is the default account for buying, selling, and storing your crypto assets. But again, why would you want them to just sit there? That kind of goes against the whole purpose of, of BlockFi and the whole reason it came into being and its whole reason for being appealing to people. And when can I get BlockFi um, yield? <laughs> that is dependent upon the registration process with the SEC. Once the registration is filed, declared effective by the SEC, BIAs of U.S. clients will be exchanged for BlockFi yield unless clients instruct us otherwise. Again, no timeline, no prognostication, no prediction. Who knows when this will take place? So, if you have money in a BlockFi interest account, you're, you're, you're in limbo. I mean, if you have significant funds and it's generating a good amount of interest for you and it's compounding, yay, good for you. And if you want to take some profits, move some of those cryptos to somewhere else, that's great. But you will not be able to replenish them yourself. But given all of this exciting news, it might cause people to wonder what's going on with BlockFi in general. So if you do search for BlockFi news, here we have CNBC, uh, Coindesk, Wall Street Journal, Politico, Yahoo Finance, SEC.gov. <laughs> so let, let's just go to um, CNBC.com, you know, because the plot thickens, you know, there is something behind everything. Here we go. Uh, Peter Thiel backed crypto startup BlockFi to pay $100 million in a settlement with the SEC and 32 states. So 32 different states of the United States of America are going to receive this $100 million. Well, $50 million of it goes to the SEC and the other $50 million goes to the other 32. 
So, um, key points, Block Fives agreed to pay $100 million to the SEC in 32 states to settle charges related to its retail crypto lending product. Mm, the lending product. The service BlockFi interest accounts lets users accrue interest on holdings in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And BlockFi says it's now applying to register with the SEC to do the BlockFi yield that I mentioned. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. SEC Monday said that it had uh, charged the, uh, let's see, charged BlockFi with failing to register its retail crypto lending product, Black BlockFi interest accounts, and with violating the registration provisions of the Investment Company Act of 1940. Uh, this is a first case of its kind with respect to crypto lending platforms, said Gary Gensler, the chairman of the Securities Exchange Commission. Today's settlement makes clear that crypto markets must comply with time-tested security laws. Okay, time-tested securities laws. Old school, old fashioned, never even had anything along the lines of the concept of cryptocurrency in mind when these laws were written and conceived and implemented. But, you know, these, these new things, cryptocurrency are being held to these same old standards. So, yeah, I mean, I could go on and look at some of these other articles like, um, you know, Wall Street Journal, Coindesk, CNBC. That was CNBC, Yahoo Finance. Let's look at that. Um, again, crypto firm BlockFi settles with SEC and states for $100 million over interest and lending accounts. And it goes on to say the same thing. Uh, violated three areas of federal securities laws, including selling unregistered securities, operating as an unregistered investment company, and making material false and misleading statements on its website that the loans were over collateralized. So there, there you go. You just pull back the layers of the onion, and it just gets worse and worse. So what what do I think people should do? Well, you know, that's neither here nor there. You really shouldn't take my advice. I'll actually what I'm going to do is, for the time being, I, I don't have a lot of assets in Block 5 that are, that are generating interest for me at this point. I've already started transferring some things. Uh, I left a smattering of cryptos there just to kind of see how things were going to play out with these changes. I had no idea that we were going to have things happen this quickly, this fast, so soon. But I'm going to continue to use the, the BlockFi credit card. Absolutely. I'm still in my introductory period. So 3.5% cash back is nothing to sneeze at. And I'm getting it in a stable coin. Um, granted, starting... Um, next month, when I get my next installment of my rewards payment, I won't be able to, you know, just transfer it over to my BlockFi interest account and start generating interest on it, but I'll be in a new month. I'll have my free transfer out of BlockFi to send it to somewhere else. You know, instead of getting 8.75%, I can send it to, uh, to Celsius or to Vald and get, you know, 12% 12 per, 12 interest or more. It's paid weekly. So... Um, that's, that's not a big deal. Um, what, what am I going to do with the crypto that's already in there in the block interest account? You know, I'll, I'll just let it sit for a little bit. Uh, really now, do I recommend that people sign up for block Cause they do have, they do have their referral program. And for me, it could be quite lucrative because if you have the, if you have the credit card and you do referrals, you're getting $40 per referral. It's $10 as your base amount and then another $30 because you have the credit card. So, yeah, you know, I could I could be a shill and try to get people to sign up to be BlockFi customers uh, just so I get 40 bucks a pop out of it. But that's that's just that's being disreputable because at this point, there's no benefit to someone to, to get a BlockFi account other than for access to the credit card. Then, then they're going to get by going to crypto.com or Coinbase or, or whatever because of the limited number of cryptocurrencies that BlockFi supports at this time. So, I mean, if you want to choose between, what, four different stable coins and, you know, maybe five different cryptos, ooh, BlockFi, whoop de doo Whereas, you know, crypto.com, Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, you know, hundreds and hundreds of cryptos and all sorts of other options and you know great flexibility uh so that's that's really what we're looking at here with with this block five situation 
I'm, you know, I'm not saying I'm done with them, but they're, they're definitely on my back burner and I don't recommend, I'm not going to be recommending to my friends, family, clients, um, associates, affiliates, anybody that, that you get a BlockFi account at this, at this time, because, you know, unless, unless you want that credit card, which, you know, there, there are other companies that are offering cards. You know, the crypto.com card is incredible. And, you know, Coinbase has a card. Some other places have a card. But, yes, the advantage with BlockFi is that their card is a credit card, not a debit card. You don't have to reload it. And if you use it like a debit card, basically, or you just don't carry a balance on it, it's fantastic, especially to allow you to get rewards on the things that you cannot directly be rewarded for crypto.com through using their card or for, for larger purpose, uh, larger purchases, unless of course, you know, you just have a lot of money loaded up on your debit card. And you know, that, that's, that's it really. I, I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted by this situation. I don't understand how they thought this was going to be the case, but you know, there, there's, there's hoops to jump through, I guess, with, with all sorts of things. And, it, it just, you know, makes it very obvious why all of these other platforms that are out there, again, Celsius, Vault, whatever else, that, you know, paying interest on crypto being their bread and butter, why all of these places, you know, in crypto.com even, why all of these places are not based out of the United States, why they're based out of India, why they're based out of Singapore, why they're based out of the United Kingdom or wherever else. So take that for what it's worth. BlockFi, um, yeah, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm still gonna use the card, but yeah, just just gonna leave you leave you sitting there. You know, my uh, not not calling it a loss, not writing it off, but it's it's like when you have it's like when you have a, a small amount of crypto left over in your uh, your 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 decentralized wallet, and it, it wouldn't be worth it to withdraw try to withdraw that crypto because the gas fees would be more than the amount of crypto you have. You know, that, that's, that's the big story here. And of course, it just brings you back to the, um, the very, very sound fundamental principle of investing of never invest money that you're not, you know, that you're afraid to lose. If you can't afford losing it, you shouldn't be investing it. And I'm not saying it's complete loss, but you no, know, it could be for some people. Okay. That's it. Rambled on long enough. Normally, I would say, hey, there's a there's a link in the description to go get a, a BlockFi account. But no, <laughs> I mean, unless unless you just, well, OK, you, you 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 will get you know, I mean, you'll you'll get your your bonus for signing up. So so free money, but <laughs> not a lot of uh, not a lot of usefulness with it. I guess you could sign up. You know, and I'm not even sure how much money you'd have to put in and let it sit there for a while. I guess they're gonna stay with maybe the $400 threshold and do that to get your get your bonus, <laughs> and then just transfer it somewhere else because you know you you I, I don't know. Just ah, it's crazy. It's so crazy. All right, that's it. Uh, look at look at the other links in the description and get some of that free money. <laughs> And then take that free money and put it somewhere else where it'll make you little money babies. <laughs> Passive income is the name of the game. Yield farm, yield farm, yield farm. Never not be earning, folks. All right, that's it.